Hello, everybody. Good morning. A uh, little package arrived. These are the playing cards that I bought in a shop in Amsterdam. After I, um, <clears throat> or no, after that, I uh, cancelled my order. I'm pretty sure, although the backs were different, it would have been the same. Same artwork, same very new looking style. So, in case you don't know, I bought these for the Challenge Tarot Throwback. In my case, that would be 1998. Um, this deck did not exist. This particular deck did not exist in 98. Um, this is a very new version, but these drawings, these images, I had as a kid and I used to play tarot with these, to me, strange, mysterious, magical looking little cards. And this is very plasticky, it's very white and uh, yeah, the crisp lines sure look way too new, more new more touched up than I remember. This looks very cartoony in my eyes. So, also it's the different, uh, different brand. Crazy me ordered on eBay a vintage version of the Carte Napolitane. So um, basically this is the unboxing of that. I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> we get some ads here. Not sure if there's a box with it. Hmm. Whoa, okay. This is the shop, apparently. Didn't really do a lot of research. Oh. Okay, I see. They shrink wrapped it, but my god, these cards are used. These backs do ring a bell. Could very well be the backs I used to have. This is Modiano, so the brand I remember having. This is so silly. It's not even super beautiful playing cards, but this is uh, has sentimental value. So, let's see. Okay. This is definitely okay. This is this is pretty thick, thick card cardboard. I like that a lot. And up close, they look a lot more, definitely look a lot more like the quality I used to have. Oh, that is interesting. And it feels, uh, it does, it does feel, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be interesting for anybody but me, but it does feel a lot more like the stuff I used to have as a kid. And that's that's the whole point, that's the whole idea. There are some differences. Wait, let me see if I can find that card because I know we just saw it, didn't we? Yes. So obviously this deck is, is older, it's aged. Um, it actually is from somewhere in the 90s. And look at the faces in the suns and the colors also. 
so this is like, of course, it's a different brand, so they don't have the same seal kind of thing. I remember this. I remember this for sure. Kind of helps with the meaning also, doesn't it? There's a crown in both, but then also it's like a, yeah, like a, like a crest, a family crest, something to be proud of, something to protect. It's very four of coins in the tarot, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful. I can see, I lost my train of thought there. Um, but I can see that these cards are printed in this old, older, old-fashioned way because I can actually see the difference, I don't know if it shows up on camera, between the black ink and the colored ink. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, it's good to see that there's no way I can... Um, mix these up. So the backs. Oh yeah, they did change a lot of the colors and the face faces. Even the petals are different. Maybe I didn't pay too good attention and the Dal Negro one is just slightly different version. That is so cool. That is so cool. I really don't mind having both of these actually because these are very plasticized, very plastic, but they feel great in the hand, you know? And these ones are just, these are the ones I, I used to have probably. <laughs> um, okay. goes up to seven. Okay, yeah, I... Maybe these are a tad bit older, still, an older printing than what I used to have. But, oh yeah, because of the extremely thick lines. But just look at this difference. In line work, in coloration, in detail. <laughs> well, this is better because the new deck has a little flaw, has a few little flaws. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. See that? That's a printing error. The hilts of the swords in every card so far that I've seen is also, are also different. Yeah. So, I mean, you can imagine that as a 10 year old kid, I looked at these cards and thought they were tarot cards. They were magic tarot cards. This is something that I noticed online already. Look, this is supposed to be some type of a horn or, um, or instrument. Not sure of the history, what it was, but here it's, <laughs> the drawing isn't finished. But also, that is so cool. The little scene depicted here has color. So there's green and there's yellow on the ground. Whereas in the new deck, it's all black. Wow. <laughs> it's these things that make me feel like this one is just more valuable somehow also okay hold on i had to share this with you this is so cool apart from the fact that this five of swords has color it's actually a different image because look at the guy in the back what is he doing 
There's little dots falling from his hand, meaning seeds. He is planting, it looks like. And the guy in the foreground, yeah, something with with a horn. <laughs> and then on the other side, he's actually harvesting. And the guy in the fort, you see that? That's, he's holding a tool and he's bringing in s something. This is harvesting. This is, oh shit. <laughs> this is, this is sowing. And this is reaping. And then there's also the guy in the foreground. He's kind of like strolling around here. And here he has, he looks to have much more of a goal and a pace in his step. And maybe he isn't blowing that horn, but maybe he's taking a sip of water or something. <laughs> okay, well that was discovery number one. Yeah, I think this is a slightly older version than what I used to have as a kid. The cards feel very thick. The line work in some cards feel very thick. But it's closer to what I remember. So let's compare, since I have this card right here. There's a little bit more going on there in the feet. Some details are changed. Also, I feel just the overall thickness of the swords in the old deck that I have here. They all seem a little bit more clunky and chunky. <laughs> Ooh, nice mustache. Is that a mustache? Yes. Yeah, just overall, um, yeah, <laughs> deeper colors, and I definitely remember this reindeer, which is one of the reasons I was sure it was a Moriano deck I used to have. I think I tried to incorporate that into the meeting. <laughs> It's just what I was like. Oh, this is so nice. It, the way it was printed, it reminds me of those older um, comic books. There's some shading that's lines, there's sh some shading that's dots. Ooh, the iconic three of batons. Yeah. I remember this one. It looks like such a different face. Whereas here... Yeah. There's also space between the wands. Still could be a version of a green man. Got to figure out which way is up. <laughs> For some cards, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> very, very thick lines. Okay, yeah, this one. In the new deck, it has some extra... Oh, look at the color difference. The old deck, this one is much warmer. There's more detail on the new deck. Then also there's that little crest, which is... What is that again? I forgot. Something... Something Italian? <laughs> I forgot. 
Hmm, also the boots. Different. And just the overall face. In the old deck, this one, the knight looks younger. Just, it's cool to see the differences. And especially the difference in printing. Because that, without a doubt, makes for different faces, different facial expressions, different glances. So this was probably just used as a playing card deck. That's what it is after all. Um, so no box, but I'm going to shuffle it and see what I get. See if I can interpret it. <laughs> so size wise, exactly the same. I feel this deck passed through a lot of hands. Very thick paper. Very um, grubby. I feel I need to wash my hands after this. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Oh, it's so hard to shuffle with the camera. What energy can you bring? Ooh, the Seven of Cups. This is the end card of the Cups. Now, since it is the last one of the Cups pips sequence, I do interpret this as a overall positive card. Now, I'm trying to shut down the Seven of Cups tarot meaning. So here I see a conclusion, right? I'd say, maybe looking at it Tarot de Marseille style, we have a balanced and equal base. And from there on, it's a step upwards. Hmm. So maybe it's saying, now I have this older deck, older looking deck, older feeling deck, because the mission is <laughs> to uh, find something very, very similar to what I had as a kid. Um, now that I have this deck in my hands, that could be this base here. And with maybe tarot knowledge and intuition put together. The feelings, maybe more, they can come out, you know? They can just come up. More like an intuitive message. And that, that brings me to maybe some type of closure. I don't know. I don't think I really need regarding this subject, but <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Definitely something good. Something that ends one chapter and opens up the next. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think. Yeah, I'll be... Uh, studying this deck in the sense of I'll be looking at the images and just the facial expressions and the way it was printed <laughs> and uh, yeah this was a weird video I feel I say that a lot though so it's fine let me know what you think would you ever do this anyway see you next time bye